Final presentation by Shantanu Gaur. Good morning, everyone. My, my name is Shantanu Gaur. I'm the co-founder of Allurion Technologies, and I'm here to tell you today about the Ellipse Gastric Balloon, the world's first proceduralist weight loss device. First, a, a very special thank you. I got married uh, this July. This is my wife, Nea. She's a type 1 diabetic, diagnosed when she was 7 years old. She wanted to pass along a special thank you to Novo Nordisk. Your products have kept her alive for very long uh, and made her very healthy and happy at our wedding. And a special thanks to Karen and Lifebulb for increasing advocacy in this uh, area as well. I'm also here on behalf of my team. Uh, we have a team of 25 people, a combination of senior medical device executives and first timers like myself. My colleague Sammy and I started Allurion when we were medical students seven years ago, sitting in the classrooms of Harvard Medical School. And we didn't know much about medical devices, but we knew that obesity and type 2 diabetes were pandemics. And it didn't seem like anyone had really zeroed in on a specific unmet need inside these vast disciplines to figure out what exactly are consumers, we like to call them consumers, saying about obesity and type 2 diabetes. So as medical students, you can't do much, but you can talk to people. And so uh, we interviewed several consumers, patients, physicians, hospital systems, and payers. And what they told us was the following. Patients told us, we want something that's better than dieting. We want something that is truly non-invasive. No surgery, but also no endoscopy, no anesthesia. We want something that's very discreet. Pre-diabetics told us we want something that would keep us off diabetic medications. Diabetics who are about to go on insulin told us we want to stay off insulin. Providers told us we want to do something that easily leverages our existing infrastructure. We want something that uh, adds some revenue to the practice as well, and something that we can deploy very widely in almost any practice settings. Hospital systems and payers told us we're entering an era of capitation, of cost cutting. If you do design a device in this field, make it cost effective and make it affordable, ideally so that the consumer can pay out of pocket for it. So that's what we did. Uh, we created an intragastric balloon that can be swallowed. It comes in a pill attached to a catheter. The, cath the capsule is swallowed. The balloon is filled through the catheter with 550 milliliters of liquid. And then the balloon resides in your stomach for four months, causing you to eat less, inducing satiety. The balloon then, after four months, part of the balloon degrades and the balloon empties and it passes out of the body. So we created this balloon, created this device as medical students, uh, but we are not just selling a device, we're selling a program. What we offer is a six-month weight loss program that includes very intensive nutritional and lifestyle counseling, uh, both for non-diabetics and for diabetics. The device also comes with a Bluetooth-enabled scale, uh, a smartphone app that syncs to the scale, very simple app that then allows the uh, consumer, the patient, to beam the data back to their physician. We also offer an SMS text messaging service that provides SMSs throughout the six-month weight loss experience, providing tips, reminders, et cetera, to the patient and the physician. We've tested the device extensively in clinical, in clinical trials, mostly here in Europe. Uh, what we've shown is a 10% total body weight loss, uh, extremely clean safety profile, no serious adverse events. Uh, and we've also tracked uh, reductions in metabolic uh, comorbidities, so hemoglobin A1C, cholesterol, LDL, even waist circumference, all reduced when you lose this amount of weight, not surprising. Most importantly to us, we've tracked quality of life in every single one of the studies that we've performed, and quite gratifyingly, we've seen a dramatic uptick in quality of life across all domains. All of that data led to a CE mark at the end of last year. So we are now on the market here in Europe in uh, several countries, not yet in Denmark. Uh, we have had U.S. patents issued uh, and also international patents issued. Uh, the study that I just showed will be published in the coming months. We also have an IDE approved for a very large FDA study next year for U.S. approval. Currently, we're on the market in 40 centers uh, across Europe and in the Middle East. We've now treated, just in a matter of several months, 600 uh, patients. The data looks even better than uh, what it looked like in the clinical work we've done so far. And our team is growing dramatically uh, across all fronts, sales, operations, QA, regulatory, et cetera. I just want to close with a couple of slides on what I was taught as a medical student. So this is what I was taught seven years ago as a medical student. Obesity is the main driver of insulin resistance. So if you are obese or overweight, you can get type 2 diabetes, you can get fatty liver disease or NASH, or you can get infertility, any number of diseases. 
this is where we are today. The science now suggests, and we're finding this in our own clinical work, that insulin resistance seems to be driving obesity. So if you're a type 2 diabetic, or if you have fatty liver disease, or if, if you're struggling with fertility, you're more likely to be obese, and it's really the insulin resistance that's driving it. Here's the interesting part. If you look at the physicians that are treating these different uh, patients, endocrinologists, hepatologists, OB-GYNs, they're not weight loss surgeons, and they're not weight loss specialists. So if we can empower those physicians with a device that they can do in their office and serve the hundreds of millions of patients who suffer from these uh, manifestations of insulin resistance, there's a pretty big market and a pretty big opportunity. My last slide just demonstrates that we feel like our balloon services the whole spectrum of body mass index, the whole spectrum of type 2 diabetes, from pre-diabetics to people who are taking insulin every day. And if 500,000 people every year choose weight loss surgery, we ask ourselves every day at our company, how many people will choose Ellipse? We think the number is going to be far greater. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your presentation. Thank you. Very exciting. Uh, do you have any like uh, proof of when the balloon is going out and will they keep the weight loss going? Because uh, a lot of times when you are going through surgery, you have been through a lot of diets and so forth, and it's often up here instead of something else. So, so how is your um, success rate afterwards? That's an excellent question. It's the number one question we get uh, as a company. The data that we've generated so far shows that one year after the balloon has left the body, people maintain between 60 and 70 percent of the weight that they've lost. Now, over time, if this individual doesn't change his or her lifestyle and goes back to uh, eating, eating things irregularly or not exercising, the weight will come back on. It's not a, a magic pill. It's not a permanent solution. However, we're also entering into an era where there's a wide toolbox available for people who are offering weight loss products and solutions. There's devices like ours. There's weight loss drugs. There's surgery. There's a lifestyle intervention. There's all these amazing uh, apps and products that my fellow entrepreneurs presented today. And if a patient ends up uh, regaining weight after our balloon, it's not the end of the road. They haven't permanently altered their anatomy after a surgery. They haven't gone through an irreversible process. They can try something new. Indeed, they can even try another one of our balloons, and we've started to see that now commercially in the field. So there's hope afterwards. This is meant to be, for some people, a permanent solution if they can keep the weight off. For others, a kickstart, something to get started, something to introduce themselves into this weight loss ecosystem that we're building. Hi. I would love to know, uh, when you're having this balloon inside your body for, like you said, four months, yes. are there any restrictions uh, connected to those four months? Uh, no restrictions in terms of activity uh, or diet. You know, obviously, we advise our patients to, to limit their intake because if you do overeat with the balloon inside your stomach, you will feel it uh, and you will feel a little uneasy. Uh, but it's meant to be a product that doesn't really limit uh, your everyday life, doesn't really limit your daily activities because part of the success of our balloon is that it is non-invasive. It doesn't cause you to change your lifestyle. And indeed, we want to promote an even more active and energetic lifestyle. So no, we don't advise any, any limitations. Thank you. Thank you.